Okay, so... So for those that don't know, kind of like a breakdown of what our channel is like now. We're switching between two playthroughs uh, on on my part. So I'm switching between Yeast Origin... the, the I'm switching between the Yeast Origin playthrough and the River City Girls playthrough. So sometimes like conversations will sort of like overlap i'm sure between the two episodes last time when we talked to oh that was bad god damn why did i do that to myself last time when we did yeast we talked about a lot of current events which i felt like was very was we're, we're usually not that topical yeah not at all why don't we talk about some of our like favorite concerts that we've been to absolutely so because this game does after all have great music I mean, absolutely. So, I mean, I just don't know where to start. I haven't been to too many concerts myself. I've been to two about. Zero, it's easy. Just name every concert you've ever been to. In oh, great God. Detail. In great detail. I mean, <laughs> shit, bro. I mean, when we saw Streetlight Manifesto last month, that was fun. That was very fun. Streetlight Manifesto did a tour in honor of... The only album of theirs that I know beginning to end, or at least I've heard all the songs beginning to end for sure, uh, everything went numb. It was turn 20, and they did an anniversary show for it, anniversary tour, so we got to see one of the shows, and it was really nice. I had never been to an actual legit ska show, you know. I mean, you kind of have. I guess. I don't really count MAGFest. MAGFest is its own beast. I count that as it's it exists in its own universe. Hmm. Am I going to break this on... Oh! This thing's on fire. It's a Molotov. It's a Molly. I didn't know it was a Molly. Oh, sweet Jesus, who shocked me? Shocking. When I used to play uh, Persona 4... Rise is one of the the narrators, and she's always like shocking if you use an electric move. Uh, okay, hold on. Before you go in that door, we go down, we right? We do go down. Yes. <laughs> See, a mini map would be so awesome, just to kind of know where you're going. Cause, I was it is it maybe like beat 'em ups were always kind of like this? They didn't have mini maps. You just had to kind of know where to go. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, every beat em up is a little bit different than the last, but to my to my recollection, usually they're linear. Yeah, they never really have uh, right, mini maps. Yes, you're right. Oh, you know what this guy that's a reference to an action movie clearly reminds me of? What? Bro Force. We should play more Bro Force. Oh no, there I go beating someone up when they're asking for uh, uh, mercy. Mash, why am I such an asshole? Because cause you still haven't talked to the people about all your favorite concerts of all time, of ever. Okay, of ever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I've seen Anamanaguchi. We've seen Anamanaguchi We've live. We've seen Anamanaguchi at, at least once together. We also saw Aquafina by accident. She ended yeah. up becoming a huge movie star later on in life. That's crazy. Isn't it? Um, besides MAGFest, is that the... Is the Anamanaguchi and Streetlight the only concerts we've been to? Something tells me I think yes. Uh, I think that might be true, yes. I'm not 100% sure. I, I can't say for certain 100% that that is 100% the case. Um, we've definitely been to other... We, we've been to performances... Um, at, at, you know, at MAGFest, obviously. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, when we went to Hunter together, they did some live performances there, too, at certain points. Did you ever go to the one that uh, the Asia Club did with this Japanese band that came? No. Uh -huh. The Japanese band came to Hunter? Yeah. Which one? I do not remember their name. I was going to say, if you say the Pillows. No. If it was the Pillows, I would have lost my shit. It was a completely different band. I don't remember their name, though. Well, I can say that I never went to that. Okay. It was like in 2011. Ooh. God, the doors open and close like crazy. <laughs> There's roaches everywhere. Oh, gross. 
Just your regular building in the in the Bronx. <laughs> that Bronx. That Bronx. Oh my god, and I got with the Pompadour beating someone up? Yeah, this is definitely the Bronx. Who the f fuck? There we go. What's what's really messing with me is when I see the door open and I s assume that bad guys are coming out. Wait, is that a is that a big old fish? Uh oh. The fish. The fish. Let's go this way. Nope. Blocked off. Lame. Guess we'll come back later. <laughs> Yeah, I did that on purpose in hopes that, you know, it would open the door, but I guess not. Oh, we're locked. Well, I got the fish. Well, as the long fish as we're locked together. Well, as long as we're locked together, this would be a great time to talk about my concerts, which is I mean, again, I've been to quite a few. I feel like I used to go to a lot more concerts back in the day. I, I don't know. I guess I just kind of got into it and it became a thing that I did. Now I'm going to more concerts again, but bef there was definitely a point where I sort of wasn't really doing concerts. I was doing more conventions more, but I still got to catch a couple of cool things. Um, you know, of course, we talked about MAGFest. Uh, Magfest. Anytime there's... Oh, we're not ready yet. Oh. Get anytime, there's Mag anytime there's a MAGFest, you're sure to catch a ton of great concerts. Uh, that's why I can't wait for this year. They haven't... They haven't announced tickets yet. At some point, I know they will, and I'm going to be like, oh, this is such a bad time for me to have to spend money, but I'm definitely getting this. Uh, and I hope that we get a good room again. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so my first ever concert was a really good show. It was Motorhead, a uh, fantastic band. I'm sure a lot of you know Ace of Spades, at least, if not a couple of their other songs. But Motorhead, it was actually supposed to be with two other bands that are really... Uh, good uh, this band called airborne and the misfits unfortunately both the misfits and airborne canceled and I didn't know about this me and my friend that went we didn't know about this until it was too late until literally we got there rip yeah oh now I get it we have to blow this up uh, I have to hit it with the wrench to fix it rolling that's kind of dumb but okay Is there anything up here? I guess not. Okay. Wow, that was pointless, huh? Very pointless. I need to figure out how to do some of my moves. Uh, anyway, um, that sucks. Those two bands obviously canceled on you. Um, was there any reasoning as to why? Oh, it's a bubble. Gotta keep pounding those proteins to stay in this shape. What shape is that? Barrel shaped? Hey. Wait, I recognize this guy. He used to run things in the sewer. A boo boo? A bobo. A, a do do? <laughs> Son, my name's a bobo. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's a boo boo. Anyway, what are you doing sitting here in the darkness all alone? Waiting for my takeout. I ordered over an hour ago. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's been an hour. Until just now when we fixed it. They probably couldn't get inside. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for fixing the power. You two can crash here anytime. What happened to your gang, a doo doo? I lost them to that lady <laughs> a I used doo -doo. to have back in the day. She sure pumped up since then. Good for her. Any idea where we could find her? Try the subway. That's where I'd be. Thanks. See you later. Oh, and when you come back, can you bring me some grub? I ain't eaten since second lunch. No promises. Oh my god. Yeah, well, at least now we know where to go and what to do and how the story progresses. I, there's some... It's Everything here is just so... It's free form. It's not... Oh god. The story is not that um deep they they break up the the fourth wall a lot and stuff it's it's fun 
but but yeah so you're asking about why the misfits and airborne canceled i actually don't know i had i had never uh confirmed what was up what was up with that but it was kind of a bummer and the cool thing is that now i actually can say that i got to see the misfits because they played recently and i got to check them out so i kind of like made up for that both amazing shows and you know now that's off my bucket list um, but it wasn't the only time that uh, I was subject to a band canceling or having to cancel. Uh, I had I had bought uh, tickets to go see a band uh, a band by the name of Sodom, like the ancient biblical city, mm. um, and uh, that band uh, it's like this thrash metal band. I was I was really I was really a fan. They're from Germany, and they. Uh, they had canceled last minute because they couldn't get their visas renewed. Oh my god. Yeah, it was like the weirdest reason and it just Oh, I'm dying. Oh, sweet Jesus. There we go. Thank you. Of course. Well, what did you do by the way to do that? I pressed triangle. Oh, it was just triangle. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. They, they, their visas were not renewed and as a result they couldn't come to the states and do the show and it was like such a bummer i actually got vip tickets because it was going to be like a meet and greet type of thing i was a pretty big fan of the band so i was going to like ask them questions and stuff but yeah unfortunately they canceled they never showed up and to this day i've never seen them again since that time so that's another one for the bucket list um yeah I've seen Anamanaguchi two times. Once at a that concert you and I went to, the Aquafina was at as well. At the Brooklyn um, Bazaar. Yeah. Also, what's it called? If I remember correctly, that was a free concert, wasn't it? I believe so. Yeah. If I remember correctly as well, um, I also remember seeing Less Than Jake in 2015. It was a it was a very nice con concert. It was at the Best Buy Theater. It's now the PlayStation Theater um in manhattan very nice place uh the opening acts were uh ballyhoo uh it wasn't real big fish it was ballyhoo <laughs> you wish it was real big fish. uh it would have been awesome if anything uh they would have been like two main acts um but no ballyhoo a very interesting reggae rock band um i would not blame anyone for confusing that with just regular ska because it's reggae rock um but it it was very it was very nice i ended up becoming a fan of theirs as well that same day uh less than jake came in and rocked the house of course um i even think there's a youtube video of someone actually filming parts of that uh uh concert it was real good i i thoroughly enjoyed it i think i joined the mash the at the mash pit the skank pit <laughs> no there was no mash pit there I wouldn't have approved of it. Only no. skank bit. Uh, let's go up, up, left, left. I feel like I'm saying a code for a video game. I mean, kind of. Uh, oh, damn. I'm not in the middle. There we go. Yeah. Up, up, left, left, you said? <laughs> not yeah. up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, start? Uh, I mean, you could put that in. What I like actually about that is that there are other there are non Konami games that like incorporate the Konami code. That's how that's how legendary that whole thing is, you know. I actually learned that code because of Crash Bandicoot 3. Yeah, which is not a Konami game. Not a Konami game. But uh Naughty Dog implemented the code at the Crash Bandicoot 3 uh menu. Mm -hmm. Which by the way, if anybody has the original Crash 3, try it. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, square. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you get the demo for Spyro. Nice. That's how my brother and I were introduced to Spyro. We love the ever-living crap out of that thing. Um, yeah, it, it was it was very it was a nice little Easter egg. Woo! To be given in a, in a in a game. I'm dying, so revive, please. Oh, that scared me. I thought maybe you would have gone away. Anyway, well, I'm sorry. Continue. Um, 
No, yeah, I was just saying, uh, that's how we were introduced to Spyro. I believe they kept doing that for the next Crash game, Crash uh, Team Racing. Mm -hmm. uh, they put in another code. And once again, for Crash Bash, for, Cra for Spyro 3. Yay! Oh, did I throw them down the hole? Oh, I put them down the they hole. Di they disappear. I mean, at least they're not going to come back, but you do lose money. We lose out on money. Oh, cool. I leveled up. Okay. Oh, I fell. You fell, did you? I don't like falling. I think you just have to hit it. No, I tried that. Okay, so we're here. I just don't know what here we need to do. I think it was something like up here. What we need to do here. You know what I mean? Help. Hey, 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 hey. How did you get up there? You hold up and forward. Like you're trying to go up more. Jump and hold up. There, there we go. Yeah, I think we got to talk to this. Ah, here it is. I fixed all those generators. Hey! Subway should be lit up now. You can head on over. Oh! Ooh. I like it. And we got some cash. I'm surprised we didn't level up from all that. I can't. <laughs> Wow, he really did it. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I was like, he's gonna run straight in, right into me. Oh yeah, that was on purpose. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, get away from me, Arnold! Oh shit! Not, not again. Not Fucking die. Nice. And that's how you kill a freaking rocker guy asshole with a mallet. All right. We now we just got to go where? Left and up and right, right, right. Radical. We're almost at the end. So let's just get to the, the check mark and just... Save it for the next episode. Did you want to buy anything? Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm just thinking about it. It's like... Let's see what accessories we have. Because we haven't been here in a while. I'm assuming a book will be kind of like an accessory. Maybe. It might just be something you consume once. Mm. Okay. Let's give it another shot. Oh, my God. Don't worry. Just you left me alone with them. Hold out for three seconds. Ah, you got some health. Um, let's see. Makes household weapons not break when held. Construction book. Hmm. Let's go with sports because um, we tend to see bats way more often. So I'm going to hit this. I can eat it? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Not read it? I can <laughs> eat it? Yeah. All right. Someone messed up. Yeah, they got to update this shit. That's a rare one. I think the joke is that it's like, oh, I consumed this book, and now I have it stored up or whatever. I'm gaining the benefit of it, and I don't have to hold it anymore. It's like you ate the book. <laughs> All right, guys, we magically teleported uh, to the house. Indeed. Uh, turns out we needed to uh, back out and do something real quick. But uh, no worries, because we're going to be uh, coming back with more River City Girls stuff soon. So make, your, make sure you stay tuned for that. That's right. We hope you guys enjoy this. We're five episodes into this playthrough series. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you on the next one. Yeah. Stay tuned, everyone. Like, comment and subscribe. Bye.